Yes, perfect, thank you. Welcome everyone, good evening. You see, we're very excited to be here, even though it's messy, technology doesn't always work, but we're always very happy, very energized, no matter what happens in life. I'd like to welcome all of you here on this lovely evening in October, our meeting number 300 and... 300 and 13! Yes! Someone reads the agenda. That's what I like to hear. Halloween. Oh, <laughs> Halloween. Well, yes, for some people, 13 is an unlucky number. And for some people, maybe, maybe it is lucky. We can associate it with Halloween. If you see the pieces of paper on the chairs, that is the agenda. You can see what will happen this evening. Maybe there will be some surprises. Hopefully we will be on time. We like to push boundaries here at Toastbusters. So maybe sometimes we're not on time. So I would like to apologize for that in advance. <coughs> General evaluator. <coughs> Who is it? Okay, you didn't hear that. That's fine. I am, my name is Valeria. I am the president of Toastbusters Club. Hello, I see some new faces here and I see some new faces, well, I see some new names online. I don't see your faces, but I see your names. So I will call you up to speak on the stage. Beware, it's October the 13th. No, it's Halloween month. It's Halloween month. Okay, everyone. We, we usually like to ask new people who visit our club to come on stage and introduce yourselves. Yes, I'm looking at you and I'm looking at you as well. And I would like to please welcome our two guests to come and say hello. All I want you to share is your name, that's it. No, your name. <laughs> How did you find out about um, the club? Uh, my name is Jude. Um, I find out about the club from um, starting Moscow. Mm. There's a program that came to our institute. So I followed up the program. I saw your advert on their page. So I just clicked yeah. that magic click. Magically, oh, yeah, hopefully, to actually develop my public speaking skills. Amazing, very yeah. nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. And you stay. <laughs> and what is your name? Uh, my name is Mingyan. I'm mm -hmm. from China and I have been live and work in Moscow for more than 10 years. Oh, so, yes. Russia is my working language and I almost forgot my English. <laughs> oh, so so I come to practice my English. Excellent, amazing. Thank you. I have one last question for both of you. What do you think will happen this evening? What are your expectations of the meeting or ideas of what will happen? Disposed. Later. <laughs> <laughs> to think. Clever, very clever. Well, you visited Zlatoust yesterday. Yes. Yes. What do you think? What do you think this meeting will be the same or different? I think it will be different because uh, yesterday they speak um, in Russia is mm -hmm. uh, their mother tongue, and if we speak English, maybe there is something interesting. <laughs> yes. Very, very true. Yes. Yeah, for today's meeting, I actually am excited to be here and I look forward to some maybe some exciting stuff about colors to mm -hmm. learn the color psychology which is yes. today's thing. Yeah. So basically I'm very excited and I'm anticipating so much. Amazing. We are very happy to have you here again. Welcome. <laughs> Online, I see Mayur. Mayur. 
Mayu. Sorry. Uh, can you, are you able to hear? Oh, that's a nice background. I can see your background, but I can. Oh, yes, here you are. Mayur, hello. Hi. Is this your first time at Toastbusters or did you visit before? This is the first time in your club. Amazing. And how did you find out about Toastbusters? Uh, tell us a little bit about your experience with public speaking. Okay. Hi. Hello, everyone. Good evening. And uh, I am Mayur. I am joining from India, Bangalore. I have been part of this community for almost four and a half years. Wow. And uh, I have served, served till division director in one of the district in USA. And uh, in India as well, I have served in a couple of roles. Did you say division or district director? Division director. Amazing. That's incredible. Thank you very much for joining us today, tonight. <laughs> Perfect. I have just a couple of quick reminders. Please put your mobile phones on silent so that there are no interruptions to our lovely speakers. We are all here at different levels of experience, confidence, English speaking skills, so a mobile phone can interrupt and make people a lot more nervous. We're here to create a safe and welcoming environment. So please turn off your phones. <laughs> so a little speech about phones. And with no further ado, let's begin our meeting. I would like to welcome to the stage our Toastmaster, Danara Davidsia. <laughs> PowerPoint, PowerPoint. Well, our dear president helps me with the PowerPoint presentation. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters, honored guests. Today, we are going to explore colors and the way they impact us, our bodies, our decisions, our psyche. They are everywhere. Colors are everywhere. And they impact and influence us. But we sometimes could be very oblivious to that. So I suggest we do a little exercise right now. I would like to ask you to look around and find five colored items. Any uh, five green colored items. I'm sorry. Anything that is green, five items. Yeah, look around and remember. Rem yeah, everyone does it for themselves and remember them. Mm -hmm. The lead. Yeah, school ties, books, 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 the sweater. Books, books, books. Yeah, five books. Watches, the plant. Okay, you got it, right? Letter O. Yeah. Oh my God, it looks great. It was supposed to be yellow. <laughs> Anyway, so you remember, you got it. Now close your eyes and try to remember those items and their location. Got it? Yes, mm -hmm. no? Mm -hmm. Keep your eyes closed. And now think of five blue items in this room. Oh dear. <laughs> Can you remember anything blue? Oh, you have your eyes closed. Oh. Oh, open. Matelisa's shoes. Not blue. Oh, okay. Wrong color. Oh. My jeans. They're blue. They're okay, jeans. that works. <laughs> Difficult, right? Now open your eyes and look. Oh, your jeans. jeans. My <laughs> jeans. Your jeans. Jeans. Sweater. Everything. Books. Color. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So you see, we colors are. What was the point of all of this? First of all, it's a psychological little trick that can help you to ground yourself when you're feeling a bit anxious or nervous and you want to calm down. Just look for five, I don't know, pink colored items, close your eyes, re remember them, recall them, and then try to remember if there is anything, I don't know, yellow in the room. And you open your eyes back 
and you start looking for the yellow colored items and you see that yes they are there the world hasn't ended and everything is fine we're moving on i'm in the present moment that's just a psychological little hack and the second point is that colors are literally everywhere and we don't usually take notice of them and it's it's a nice touch to just see that you know if i pay deliberately attention to one color i can really take notice of it and if the colors are everywhere and i believe colors are affecting us in some way or form and today tonight i'll try to explain it to you then that we our choices our thinking patterns even our physiological state of the body can be influenced by the colors around us so colors no 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 not yet i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> colors can impact our physiological body and that phys physiological trigger leads to certain patterns of thinking in and behavior in our psyche and mindset there has been done some research that our autoimmune nervous system in russian it's vegetative nervous system can change under the influence of color <clears throat> the color red it triggers our nervous system and causes an increase of in, in blood pressure and it can even change our breathing pattern it's stimulating but yet agitating because long term exposure to that color can cause agitation irritation and even aggression so be mindful of that and it literally can physically affect us could you please move on now mm -hmm. orange it looks like orange <laughs> orange can stimulate our appetite and our digestive improve our digestion sometimes researchers suggest that if you have little kids who are a bit you know overly selective over the food that they want to eat they are picky you should give them that food in plates of the orange color and they will be more intrigued and interested in the food that you <laughs> shared with them so just a life hack could you please mm -hmm. blue the blue color on the contrary it's calming it calms our nervous system and it can slow down even our heart rate and reduce blood pressure because of that because of this peaceful state that it can bring to us if we are exposed to the blue color for a very long period of time we can start feeling apathetic or even depressed so again be mindful of that but also know how to use it to your own advantage can you move mm -hmm. i can thank you yellow stimulates our vision our eyesight and it energizes, energizes our nervous system, boosts our mood, boosts our energy levels, and just, it's exciting. But there are some shades of yellow, like the lemon color, you know, maybe like this, mm -hmm. that they can be a bit misleading to some people. They can feel like this yellow is not trustworthy type of yellow. It's I'm not going to trust it. You know, some animals even have this yellow colored um, shade to them, even some snakes that just showing this is danger. It's a danger zone. So again, there are two sides of the coin. And last but not least, our green color. It's both relaxing and refreshing for our nervous system, for our body. It reduces blood pressure and relaxes our breathing patterns but it also the refreshing part is that it can improve our mm, muscle performance we can work more work harder if we are influenced by the color green 
So let's do a quick recap. There are active colors like red, yellow, orange. They're stimulating, they're energizing, they're grabbing your attention, like, look at me, I'm here. And there are passive colors, like green or blue. And they're more calming, relaxing. And we, if, we feel, if we feel tired, we can resort to being in places that, has the, that have this blue or green in them. And all of that, our physiological reactions to colors, combined with some our cultural backgrounds based on our associations, stereotypes that we have towards color, build all of this structure that can influence our decision making and our psyche. For instance, it even we can trace it even in our language. Do you know there is a specific phrase with the color term red that expresses anger? You can, you can see red. Yeah, you can literally see red. Also, if we're talking about blue being the, you know, a bit on the depressive and apathetic side, there is also a phrase that shows that you're a bit sad. <laughs> yes, to feel blue. Thank you. So we we don't even conceptualize the fact that colors are so ingrained in our, in our lives, even in our language, and we're living by that, by that on autopilot. So, let's do a little game, a little exercise. I would like now to ask you to give me some associations that you have with the colors, and then we'll look at some logo brands, on brand logos, oh my god, I'm so sorry, <laughs> today is something happening with me, it's Mercury retrograde, I'm pretty sure of that. It's the Halloween one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we will see if the, how the colors used in those brands can influence our decisions, our... So, the first color, red, what associations do you have with that? Coca-Cola. Mm. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> yeah, sure. Coca-Cola, fire. I heard anything well, else. Well, Kit Kat. Kit Kat. <laughs> what about mm, not brands, but your I don't know some feelings. Maybe red is about fire. love, Dangerous. blood, blood. <laughs> Dangerous. Danger. Marathon. Marathon. Valentine's Day. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Could you please? Turn. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, they look pink, but they are all supposed to be red. And look at the all of those brands. They the red color is. You know, even when you say fire, it's eye catching. It grabs your attention. And we have here Marvel, YouTube. I don't know, Canon, H and M. All of these things are built in a way to trigger our eyesight and to grab our attention, especially in malls and supermarkets, like look at Arch and Dam or, I don't know. Levi's? Yeah, Levi's. Kate came on. Mm -hmm. And also, the red color, it stimulates our appetite and some brands, especially some food chains, just love to use it in their marketing and in, the, in their brand image. Can you just... Mm -hmm. Next? Yeah. yeah. This is it. <laughs> yes, we have McDonald's, the red and the yellow, bright, eye-catching. Come here, look at me, eat me, I'm here. Can you see me? <laughs> That's it. That's how it works. But yellow is misleading. It can be as misleading as energizing and mm, grabbing attention and you know, appetizing. So, the color red is the perfect, aggra it's aggravating, it's irritating, it's grabbing your attention. And it also can show that, what can we also use red for? Stop. This is dangerous. You have to stop. In our Toastmasters community, we have 
a special person. And today, at our meeting, we have that special person as well, who is going to use the color red to tell you to stop, <laughs> to, and to be cautious of your timing and your timing limits, please. Welcome to our stage, our timer for today. <laughs> There has been made a mistake. The person who constantly oversleeps and comes late has been made a timer. Vera, Dania, you should seriously consider who you call to your meetings. <laughs> <laughs> but nonetheless, I will take on my duties with diligence and <laughs> show you three types of colors in order to coordinate you how much time do you have on stage. When I show you the green color, it means you reach the bare minimum of your speech and you should elaborate more on your thoughts. When I show you the yellow card, it means you've been quite a long time on stage. It is time to slowly wrap it up and come up to your conclusion. And of course, the red is, means that you have to get off the stage and let some other people to speak. And try to, try to uh, let me show you this card too much, because as our dear Toastmash for the day tell, told us, long-term exposure is agitating. <laughs> Be mindful of that, Madam Toastmash. Thank you. Thank you. This is a beautiful introduction of the time as Let's move on, but not with the slides yet. <laughs> Think of some associations you have with the color yellow. Sunshine. Sunshine. Lemon. Lemons. Misleading. Misleading. Lemonade. Lemonade. Flowers. Shell. X-ray dangerous. Yeah. Danger. X-ray. <laughs> okay. Let's look at the logos and the brands that use yellow in their colors. You can see it's a wide in, in their logos. It's a wide variety from, I don't know, National Geographic to Chupa Chups, <laughs> some Cheetahs, Lipton, Ferrari. even Snapchat. This color kind of looks dangerous and repulsive. Again, it's not bad. <laughs> yeah. Yellow, in ge generally, yellow is energizing, optimistic, full of life, joyful, just like the sun. Could we move please to the next slide? Let's look carefully at this one. Lipton, look, it's yellow. It even has the shape of the sun. And if you, it gives the vibe of, I'm positive, I'm chilling on the beach, drinking my, tea, my lemonade, whatever, and yeah, I'm enjoying my life. But also, yellow is about confidence and curiosity. At our meeting today, we have a special someone who is going to be very curious and mindful about the sounds and words that you may utter that could be unnecessary in your speech. I would like to welcome to our stage our art counter for today, Zoe. Good evening everyone, my name is Zoe and today my role is our counter. You may ask who is uh, our counter. Uh, it's a person who counts um, this one. Well, <laughs> it, it counts uh, pillars and you may ask what is pillars. Pillars is um, unnecessary words or sounds uh, or even phrases inside your speech um, yeah uh, even more I 
uh, I made a small program for helping me to count uh, these <laughs> fillers. Therefore, I have a, a great instrument for... I, I suppose that is great. Uh, I wrote it one hour ago. Uh, and yeah, uh, just be careful, but feel free. That's all. Thank you. Thank you so much for a beautiful introduction and for the special program that you wrote. We hope to see the results at the end of the meeting. Let's think about blue. What associations do you have with blue? Wales. Wales. Gazprop. Gazprop. Calmness. 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 Sky. Sky. Banking. Banking. Great. Oh. Let's look at the logos. No. One moment, please. Uh -huh. Look. Sky or will be, I don't know. IT. Yeah, it's Ford, Visa, Twitter. It's the old one, but anyway. All of these logos, they scream, I am reliable, you can lean on me, I am, I'm there, I, I'm here, I got you. Confident, reliable, calm, put together. Can we move on? Next one? Mm -hmm. Like, look at this. Yes, I know that you, if you use my products, you're going to be, you're going to have a beautiful white Smile, the whitest of them all. Come on, don't you see how reliable and confident and put together I am? <laughs> confident, reliable, put together. For me, those are the characteristics of a perfect grammarian. Ooh, so please, I'd like to welcome to our stage with a huge round of applause, our grammarian for today, Tatiana. Dear Madam Toastmasters, dear fellow Toastmasters, most welcome guests, my name is Tatiana, I will be your grammarian tonight. And you know what? I was thinking, what color is English grammar? What do you think? Black. For some <laughs> reason, I decided that it's a chocolate color. Oh. Even though it's not a primary color, it looks nice, it tastes delicious. I found it in chocolate powder. <laughs> 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 and it has a lot of, um, I researched uh, that topic today and found a lot of similarities with the steps of learning English grammar. I won't, that, I won't go that deep in that topic today, but I would like to mention that that one of you who will use the word of the day more often than others will get a bar of nice milk chocolate tonight. Mm. And what's the word of the day you might want to ask? It's notely. Mm. Notely means made of different colors, different things. You can say motley crew, motley group, motley composition. But my main job is to watch your grammar. So please make sure you use it correctly and use nice phrases, some idioms, you will get points for that as well. And I wish you good luck and I will listen to, to you carefully. That was a beautiful introduction. That remotely combined all of the necessary aspects. I hope I used that correctly. I need to check with the dictionary all the necessary aspects that needed to be mm, told when you are having, when you've taken a minor role as a grammarian. Let's move back to our color palette. Green. Give me some associations with green. Come on, guys. First, dollars. First, dollars. Yes. Yes. Money. Money. Beer. Beer. A lot of banking. Summer. <laughs> Summer. So I heard there is a Quite a division, nature and wealth. <laughs> yeah, money and forest, you know. <laughs> money and forest, perfect <laughs> day. It actually, uh, let's see if our assumptions are working. Uh, work? The assumptions Just are not working. Here. Okay, oh. look. Big. 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 Big
Beers. Have... <laughs> yes. <laughs> Beer companies, some food chains, Starbucks, but we yes. also have some luxury <laughs> brands, you know, like Lacoste, what else? Some cars. Yes. So your guesses are quite correct. Green is a color that has so many shades to it and depending on the shade it has its particular meaning whether it's nature or I don't know money and finances Could, can we please move to mm -hmm. let's look at this one Starbucks what traits can we observe here I feel like nature a bit nature a mermaid mystic mm -hmm. mystical <laughs> she's also very relaxed Chili. It's not screaming like, hey, I'm here, like the McDonald's one. <laughs> it, she doesn't care. Like, you know, I don't really care if you're going to come and buy coffee from me. There is someone who will, so you can just pass by. And spend an hour there. <laughs> yes. And we may have different interpretations of the color green and the way we perceive it. You know, many men, many minds. But at our meeting today, we have a very special someone who is going to share his thoughts and what he has on his mind on the topic of our today's meeting. Please welcome to the stage with the thought of the day, the new. You see a lot of deep blue. I hope I don't look too much depressing to you guys. <laughs> if not, I hope not after this speech, actually. It's fun. <laughs> Uh, it's well known actually that the sign of vision is the one of the most important senses of the human, right? And we receive about 80% of all the information with our eyes. And of course the ability to distinguish, distinguish colors is a big part of that skill. But uh, why do we have that? And actually was it always that way? In fact, actually our predecessors, yes, predecessors, uh, they didn't have that ability. Because most of the time they actually were active during the night. And during the nights you do not have colors. And so they concentrated and managed to uh, distinguish the objects from each other. So like to find where is object from the night. Um, for example, the cats who are still active mostly during the night, they can distinguish 25 shades of gray. Mm -hmm. I know that some of you can have seen maybe 50 shades of gray, <laughs> but it's a bit different. <laughs> Of course, we started to kind of uh, be able to distinguish colors only after our, kind of our active part of life moved from night to the day. And that, according to the science, happened since the primat. Like. And this ability actually gave us a lot of hints because we managed to understand, for example, which fruit is mature enough to eat, which is what is cold, what is, what, what is hot, what is kind of... Uh, light or heavy and so and so many 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 other things and of course today uh, everything should be used for the oh for the for, for the profits and that's why actually uh, the lights in the in the shops and supermarkets the colors of the brands and everything has its own color to inflect to affect us actually for example for example i want to buy a lamp and as they give me the lamp because i have dashes in my headache and he said, what color do you want? What color of light is? What, what do you mean the color of light? Because we have the cold color and we have the neutral and we have the cold. What's the difference? Because actually the cold makes your nerves active. It makes you work harder. That's why in all the offices, the color of the light is usually cold. They don't care about the nerves. They want to <laughs> work harder. So the color psychology is a new but rapidly developing skill or science actually. And I hope it will be used Wow, better. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. It was so insightful. Yeah? People agree with me. Great. Great. I'm the Toastmaster of the day. People agree with me. And we are almost at the end. Last but not least. Orange. What associations do you have with the color orange? Orange. Orange. Oranges. Yeah, okay. Orange. Ice cream. Juicy. Juicy. Ice cream. Juicy. Juicy. Any orange associations? Pumpkin. 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 Uh, Pumpkin. Halloween. Halloween. Okay. Orange. Uh, 
generally is a mixture of passionate and energetic you know influence on our perception and our psyche it's not as life affirming and bright as yellow hey look i'm here and it's not as mm, you know captivating and agitating as red it's something in the middle and orange in brand in branding let's look at this oh. you know it's a huge variety from yeah. food chains like burger king to i guess it's bitcoin i don't know what else we have here dunkin donuts halloween yes Nickelodeon, Etsy, yes, everything and anything to grab your attention and to make it seem like we are friendly. We, you can join us. You can come to us. Yes, optimistic. Thank you. Can we move to the? Mm, look at this. OB. It's a chain of supermarkets that provides uh, some constructional supplies for your houses and whatever. The color orange. First of all, it's grab it grabs your attention when you are you know driving on the road. The orange thing. Also, if we look at the symbolism, it wants to sound I'm I'm friendly, I'm amicable. Yes, you can come and find all everything that you need. And it also gives a little bit of energy because you know there is always cues and people in so many places to look for in such department. What I love about Toastmasters and our meetings and the meeting rules that we have is that there is always this special person who is very energetic, whose role is to be energetic because they're going to be this huge, I don't know, they're going to provide this huge ceremony at the very end of our meeting. So, without any further ado, I would like to invite to our stage the quiz master of today, our energizer of today, Sabia. I'll try to be energetic. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for that. Uh, thank you for the introduction. My name is uh, Sengiram. Today I'm a quiz master and my role is to test your listening skills and uh, attention to the details throughout the uh, meeting. So I will be asking you questions uh, based on what uh, other speakers share. So please uh, listen carefully. And uh, at the end of the meeting, uh, um, like I will um, prepare questions as I said and if you uh, give right answers uh, you will receive um, chocolates from me mm. so <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, please be attentive thank you thank you, thank you Samia red yellow green blue orange colors can be powerful and I hope I hope that I managed to convince you that they do influence and affect us and our lives. The phys our physiological body get triggers and then we move to that triggers lead to our certain behavioral patterns and psychological um, thinking structures that influence us, our decisions, our, our life. And we could be just walking, passing by by McDonald's and not even realizing that, you know, the reason why we want to eat those chips and have that burger is because of that red, agitating, aggressive, and so captivating color that screams like, I'm here, look at me. Colors can be powerful. So can be our words. Today and now, I'd like to move to the part of our meeting when we will be listening to our amazing speakers who have prepared their amazing and colourful speeches. I would like to invite the first speaker to our stage, Irina Gurtavaya, with the speech Solitary, Solitary. One study found that many people would prefer to 
give themselves a painful electric shock rather than sit alone with their own thoughts. <laughs> dear fellow Toastmasters, dear guests, dear friends, what if our life doesn't give us a choice? What if we find ourselves alone in the worst possible moment? It happened to me three months ago. I found myself sitting alone in my car, exactly in between my dacha and Moscow. The twilight, the forest around, the desert road. My car stalled and broke down. In my blind mood, I tend to blame everything around. The country, the president, the mercury retrograde, the food the moon. I couldn't resist the temptation to pre and prepare the speech, blame the speech for my husband within five, seven minutes time slot. And I needed the stage for it. Got out the car, kicked the tire, spat on the car, <laughs> pick up my phone. Oh my God, powers, uh, batteries power only 3%. I had only 3% to stop blaming, stop frustrating, stop whining, to change my thought process and change my behavior. My inner superhero woke up in horror. Ah, Google the nearest tow track services, called one, called another one, and one more. My inner super greedy dog tried to bargaining. I didn't want to pay 300 bucks for it. <clears throat> Being alone, it's like having a superpower. You can get whatever you want without anybody judging you. Without anybody, but not anything. My iPhone decided to judge me and reminded me that only 1% left. <laughs> Drop the location, order the tow truck. I'll be there in a half an hour. What? Better is dead. <laughs> Digital detox. I am with my inner feelings and experiences in a full darkness. Someone takes solar retreat in a remote cabin in the mountains, but I obtain my solar retreat in my broken car. <laughs> what did I find out there? Solitary and Isolation didn't seem me overwhelming. The opposite, it allowed introspection and self-reflection. What was in my heart? Of course, my daughter. She was preparing for state exams to enter university. And she decided to study 24 hours per day and give up everything she loves. And I, as a loving and supportive mother, had to follow her aesthetic behavior and take a break from my English classes, give up my business trip abroad and put off my renovation in my apartments, I planned. I was anxious and I didn't know what to do. And there, in my broken car, I thought, what if I set her an example? She doesn't need to give everything. She needs to continue going on her tennis workouts. She needs to continue meeting with her friends. Maybe I can allow her to go to open air cinema in Sokolniki. She asked me about it, but I rejected because movie ends too late after midnight. Later, this idea came with reward because in my isolation, I discovered new you found feelings of clarity, peace, and creativity. Upon returning from my broken car retreat, uh, I realized that solitude trans transformed me profoundly. That being alone is not a punishment. This is a privilege. <laughs> Do I need to wait until my car, my car breaks down? I look at my Google Calendar, my daily schedule. Why not use earlier time? Getting up only one earlier, only one hour earlier. I can organize being alone every day without broken car. 
Don't kill me right now. I, I, I see how your night owls are flying on my pure early bird head. <laughs> so, waking up at 6 a.m. Um, every, every day I uh, was engaging in activities, also was engaging in activities I always wanted to do, but never found time for. So, in three months of early awakenings, I have read 500 pages, totally two books about artificial intelligence, which I used to find very difficult. I have read five English articles about self-awareness, self-discovery, about mindfulness. I have eaten 25 croissants. <laughs> I have drunk 25 liters of coffee. And to avoid gaining the weight up to 150 kilograms, I have run 75 kilometers totally, and I have cycled 95 kilometers. And the most important, I, I felt as the happiest mother in the world because my daughter became a student of Moscow State University. <laughs> now I feel more... Uh, I, 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 I feel ready to navigate the challenges of my life. I feel more equipped to do it with a sense of peaceful resilience and uh, purpose. Of course, a uh, remote cabin in the mountains it is the best decision, but little time alone can provide you restorative effect. Maybe those who prefer giving themselves electric shock rather than sit alone, <laughs> confuse it with loneliness. Being alone, it is chosen state of being alone. But loneliness, this is unwanted feelings of disconnection. Thus, I invite you to carve out solitude moments in your daily life. And believe me, through the regular practice, you will love your life even more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Irina. It really it happens to the best of us, you know, when you're stuck somewhere in the middle of nowhere and you really don't want to be stuck there. Then you re you change your behavior patterns as a human and find some advantages to your unwanted situation. Now, let's move to the second speech of our meeting today. And I First am... of all, a uh, point of order. Could I get screen sharing, please? Oh, of course you can. Well, we're getting done. A bit. <laughs> One second, Miles. We are just working on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Miles, try to show your screen now. Trying right now. Okay. Um, bear with me. I'm new to this. That's all right. It's awesome. no. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. It's an <laughs> are you seeing my titles? We are seeing. Yes, yes, we are, yes. Yes. It all begins with a conversation, Ralph Nader. Aha, uh -huh, yes, we can see it. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're just changing to presentation view. Yeah, oh, while we are waiting for the presentation to open, let me introduce to our digital stage our second speaker, speaker of the evening, Miles Flake, and his speech, It All Begins with a Conversation.
Yvette. Oki. Danatada. Abawatek. Tansi. Hello and greetings. From Treaty 7 Territory, Canada. Can you see an image of me at the same time you see the slide? Yes, yes, exactly. First of all, who am I? Uh, well, I'm a, first of all, a Moscow Toastbuster, or Toastbuster Moscow Toastmaster member. Hooray. Uh, I'm also a fan of Ralph Nader. And Ralph Nader is an American. I'm in Canada, uh, talking about color red. Part of our branding. <clears throat> Ralph Nader is an American who said uh, three things I want to share. This statement, it all begins with a conversation, anything, a journey, my pathway. A second thing that he said is if you're going to start something, begin with your cohort. So another th something about me is my cohort is the generation of boomers. Mm -hmm. I'm 64 years old. I've been on this planet for that many years. The third thing that he said is, um, don't be afraid to write your president with your concerns. Now he's an American, so he's saying, write, if you're American, write the president, Biden. Um, but I'm not American, I'm Canadian, very separate countries. We have a king now. Uh, Americans actually will say that this was uh, having a king was terrible for them. Uh, we go into a lot of debate about that. But uh, nevertheless, uh, I have a king, so I need to r follow Ralph Nader's instructions. I need to write my king because the king is actually the head of state of Canada. So, um, in fact, uh, another little thing about me when it comes to writing the head of state, uh, let you know that I've written about 17 letters to date to uh, the Queen, Queen Elizabeth II, and one letter to King Charles III. I also wrote a letter to Chief Lee Crowchild of the Tsutina Nation. See, Canada is made up of not only the crown of uh, Canada, represented now by the king, but also a collection of treaties. That's why I mentioned Treaty 7. I'm on Treaty 7 territory, and the languages I used are languages of Treaty 7. Now, my visionary communication pathway, if you've been around for a few years, uh, a couple of years ago, I did a speech called Round Dances as Pathways for Peace and Friendship. Now, a round dance is an indigenous First Nations kind of a type of dance, and you go in a path that is a circle. So, uh, yeah, eventually a pathway makes sense. But right now, given that I'm here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Treaty 7 territory, and my club and all of you, my friends, are here in Moscow on the other side of the planet, I, I need not only a visionary communication pathway, but I'm going to say I need a visionary communication skyway. And the skyway will be therefore say, let's say we're going to have to fly from Calgary to Moscow or Moscow to uh, Calgary. And let's call it 
Airline Canada 777777. I'm going to sl share one more slide here before I turn off screen sharing. An indigenous concept, I'll share a couple of them. First of all, the name of my country is Canada, and it's an indigenous name, I believe Algonquin, for villages. So now you know something that a lot of people even here in Canada don't know, that the word Canada means villages. Another indigenous concept that I'm thankful for is this concept of ethical, ethical spaces. And it occurs to me that the combination of uh, the pyramid hierarchical structure and the circular, which is the indigenous worldview, is actually combined in a nuclear fuel bundle of a, of a can-do nuclear reactor. And so just, you know, now I'm getting into what my wife ca uh, cautions me about, and that is not to be trying to say too much. Now, I'm going to try to stop screen sharing if I can figure out how to do that. Um, now, see, I'm running into trouble because I don't know how, where's the turn off the screen share? You should be at the top of your screen. <sighs> no, to stop at the top. <laughs> it's a line right. of the red line. Red, red, can you see a red line? It's a red line. Okay. So anyway, I will, um, I'm just going to have to continue because I don't know how to turn it off. Uh, let me go back to this uh, slide so we don't. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Well, um, I can't see the the uh, person or our timer, so I'm going to wrap this up. I, I've started to introduce too much information already, but what I'm wanting to do with this visionary communication skyway is to bridge the distance between you and me now and for in order for me and you to fly we actually have to address uh something from aviation uh, to fly is uh, to aviate um Aviate means to fly, and it means you have to maintain a sufficient amount of energy and the proper attitude. We have to also, if we're flying, we have to navigate and we have to communicate. You inspire me to communicate, and you inspire me to carry on with this skyway, and what I want to do is uh, take Toastmasters to local First Nations to get their permission for creating ethical spaces so we can have even more deeper conversations than Toastmasters presently allows. So to that end, I do have a budget. Somebody gave me this gift card and I'm going to use that to purchase coffee for people here in my community. And that will be the impetus for hopefully attracting people who want to know more, want to uh, find out what this Skyway is all about. So once again, thank you, Ralph Nader. It all begins with a conversation. Madam Toby. Thank you, Miles, for your beautiful speech. I was so ingrained and involved that I almost forgot I was the Toastmaster of the day. <laughs> Dear fellow Toastmasters and honoured guests, we are wrapping up with the first part of our meeting tonight, and now we're going to have a five-minute break.
I will do timer, we'll time us and see you in five minutes. Hello. Hello. Hi, Miles. Hi, nice to meet you. Yep. I, uh, I, <laughs> it's been a, a struggle here with technology, but yes, uh, that's true. it's. Hello. It's something uh, I'm learning. Okay. Yeah. If you need any help, to let me know. So you live in Canada, right? Yes. In Western Canada. Okay. Uh, what part I'm of India are you in? I'm in Bangalore. Wonderful. I have a, I have a friend who lived in Bangalore and she's okay. now moved to the to a place on the ocean in India Mumbai no um it's actually a like a ah oh, it's Chennai it's, it's a beautiful resort place where there's nice beaches Air. Mumbai Chennai Kerala Maybe Kerala. 
Yeah, Kerala is south, of, uh, south and well. west. Yeah, so, so or Goa. Yes, uh, somewhere near Goa. Yeah, Goa has like a beaches Goa. and resorts. Beautiful yes. place. Yep. Yeah, beautiful. Have you been there? Yeah, yeah. I was in Delhi. I was in Agra. Oh. Oh. Well, how long? Too much traffic, but it's beautiful. For two weeks. <laughs> oh. So you visited only these two cities? Yeah. Okay. Enjoying, enjoying the time there. Yeah, I love it. Okay. Oh, that's good. When when was that you visited? Uh, before COVID. Before now I'm planning COVID. hopefully soon to make a pass by. Hello. Uh -huh. Then Hello. you should come to Bangalore as well. Mm -hmm. So, dear Toastmasters and honored guests, we are continuing with our meeting. And now we reach the first our grammarian. I was about to use the word of the day. Okay. Anyway, we've reached the most motley, colorful, vivid, bright part of our meeting, the improvisation session. I invite to our stage our table topics master for today, Nikolai Marchinka, and he will tell us everything that we need to know. Dear friends, fellow Toastmasters, distinguished guests, uh, today I am the master of the uh, table topic session. Now, first of all, I would like to give you some clue regarding the table topic session, what it is. Uh, first of all, this is a great opportunity to do uh, an impromptu speech. For that matter, all you need to do is to come here on stage. First volunteer, I will ask who, is, uh, who would like to join. And then uh, to choose one of these uh, pieces of paper, uh, each of them has some topic. After that you have 30 seconds to think through regarding these topics, and then you just make an impromptu speech. You have from one to two minutes. Uh, two minutes is a green sign, as Vasilisa uh, uh, explained to us. Uh, one thirty is a yellow sign, and the red uh, color is uh, one. Uh, two minutes. Ah, oh, sorry, two minutes, yes. In the reversed uh, order. Position. Yes, order. So, uh, I, I think we don't have the word of the day, so I don't encourage you to use it. <coughs> ah, <more. laughs> Someone's not getting any chocolate for attention. Someone is negative chocolate. <laughs> uh, did I say that? I think I did. So let, let's uh, start. First of all, I would like to invite some uh, experienced Toastmaster who would like to come on stage. Right. Come on then. I need, I need the practice. Uh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Wait. <laughs> That's the word of the time. day. Wait. <laughs> <clears throat> memorable, wow, memorable gift. Tell us about the most memorable gift you have ever received. What about him <laughs> made you happy? That's what it is. It says, what about him? <laughs> it wasn't that kind of gift. It was not that kind of gift. <laughs> we may be later. <laughs> <laughs> that I didn't start, don't I? Yes. <laughs> it did not begin yet. Okay. Tell me about the most memorable gift you have ever received. What about it made you happy? I love gifts, especially when it comes in the form of hymns. But <laughs> I also love to give gifts because I think it's a, it's a nice way to show people that you you notice them, that you see them because I don't just give gifts that um, for example I see something expensive I'm like I must buy something expensive no 
I try to pay attention to the person and choose something that maybe they will use, maybe they will think, oh, that's a piece of me. Uh, the, someone see me, someone recognize me. Because I feel in the modern day, in the present world, this is what a lot of us are missing. A lot of people want to feel seen, but we are too busy in our phones, looking at social media, distracted with our own problems, with our own anxieties, that we don't have enough time to see what is outside of us, to see other people. So a form, in a form of a gift, I, I think it's a nice gesture to show others that there is someone else out there who sees you. There is someone out there who is paying attention. And I really wish for this world to give more attention to the real world rather than the digital world. And I encourage you to look around today, notice the colors, notice your surroundings. What is something that you haven't noticed before about the person sitting next to you? What is something that you've never noticed about your workspace? What is something you've never noticed about this very room that we come to every single month, twice a month? Look around and pay attention and give yourself the gift of noticing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let's uh, grab a chance. Okay. Secrets of your happiness. Tell us about the little things that make your day bright and more fun. Uh, okay. So, a uh, super revelation from me to tonight. <laughs> the main uh, commandment. The base, basis of all happiness, not to care if other people are more successful than you, a wealthier than you, a healthier than you, a taller than you, uh, uh, okay, less less distant than you, um, okay, a sly than you, etc. So if you don't care. Uh, that you're less successful than some other people, that's already happiness. Okay, thanks. So maybe some of the newbies would like to join. No, okay, don't be shy. That's a great opportunity. Yeah. Uh, please remind me of your name. My name is Jim. Jude. Okay, Jude, go ahead. Okay. I just hope I don't freak out, okay? It's alright, take your time. We're here to support you. Okay. We'll freak out with you. <laughs> okay, so discuss the phrase love is a verb. Um how can you love how can love be demonstrated through actions rather than just words? Uh, love, love, okay, I'm starting now. <laughs> love is a very complex word, and I believe love can truly be shown through various means, of which the greatest act of love has actually got to do with giving. Um, I think that's the best way one can actually demonstrate love. Um, giving them not just by Words so uh, by giving gift, giving through your time, through um, maybe act of service, giving through maybe your um, contribution, your um, knowledge, you contribute, maybe you're in the scientific field, contribute to humanity. I believe those are um, some ways which one can actually demonstrate love. Thank you very much. Maybe someone from the online stage would like to join. Uh, maybe Roman. Rami, do you uh, Rami, want to sorry. join for table Rami, tennis? You... Yes. Okay, yes, of wait course. Yeah, uh, please uh, give us the number from one to 
to seven. One. One, okay. one please. Okay. Uh, sorry, one moment. Rami, are you able to see if I do this timer? Can you wave your time thingy? Can you see the timer? Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. Uh, so, Rami, uh, the topic is the secret of laughter. What joke, joke or anecdote can you share to make everyone around you laugh? Thank you so much, uh, Table Topics Master. So, making somebody laugh is something that is beautiful, especially uh, the younger you are and even also the older you are. So, if you ask me this question, when you are in school, and then when you are in university, then when you are at work, and then, you know, at, at, at this stage right now of your life, you know, laughter is the one thing that we can remember all through our lives. You can remember how you used to laugh with your school kids, how you used to laugh in college, how beautiful time is. The first time when you started to work and also your first journey, whatever you go through, there is a lot of laughter moments. So laughter moments can be anything that is surprising, anything that's embarrassing and uh, things that are tense, uh, something that is very uh, 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 awkward moments that you can take advantage of you know actually uh being russian myself i am i am half russian it is it is actually the funny part uh, in my life so everybody knew me as rami the russian the russian uh, person and a lot of uh comedy came from that way the way i said words and there was a lot of excitement to people in uh, the UEE when I would uh, be there. So I think that uh, being uh, using that is something that is also fun for, from my end. So overall, remember all your life uh, and connect with laughter. Use it, especially in hard times. And this will help you be more happy and develop into the future. Thank you. Back to you. Thank you, Rami. How much time do you have? Ah. <laughs> so, do you have time for one person? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Three people. Three? Three? Oh, oh, time for three people? Maybe two. No, You're crazy. Time. Come on, come on. If you could change the past, what advice would you give yourself? Guys, I have something special in my hands. It's the key to a travel machine, time traveling machine. Why don't we just travel to the past? Yes, yes, yes. I'm taking advantage of everything that I have. We're here, you're with me, and let's go five years ago. It was 2000. 19. I am a student at a university. It's my second year. And, you know, I was so enthusiastic, energetic. I was so eager to learn. Oh my God, we had one group project after another group project, and then again, and again, and again. And you know what? I was the kind of girl that was admiring Hermione Granger. I'll do everything by myself. I know how to do everything. I know the best way possible. I'm not going to delegate anything to anyone. I know the best. I can do it by myself. Yeah, I don't care if there are four other people in my group. I don't really trust that you can do it properly. I would job, so I'll do it by myself, everything. And guess what? Danara did everything by yourself, herself 
and we got a 10. Then we got another 10, then we got another 10, and everyone around me was living happy, their happy, chilly lives, because why we have such amazing grades? And Danara was not living a happy and chilly life. She was almost on the verge of burnout, because why would you ever do everything by yourself? And coming, if we, if I sit back and go to that past version of me, five years ago, I would tell to myself, girl, you can trust people, and if nothing works out, you can try again, and do again, and eventually, by collaborating, you achieve your wanted and awaited result. And I encourage you to do the same. Thank you. I think everybody will agree with me that that is a great advice to everyone. So, uh, at this point of time, I declare the table topic session closed. I hope you all uh, enjoyed it. And I'd like to invite uh, uh, the president. Thank you for the flattery. I'm just the toastmaster of the day. Our amazing president is still on her still way. She's not going to be in <laughs> No. So, we have finished our table topics session, our improvised session. I hope all of you had fun and maybe gained some insights about yourselves. Now, we're moving to the last... Ah, just a second. I almost forgot. Thank you for reminding me. You can vote for the best table topic speech by using the QR code that's on your agenda right here and for our telegram chat uh, online audience there will be a link in the telegram chat if I find it yes yes <clears throat> while we are voting I'll tell a little about the the last part of our meeting today it will be the evaluation session we will our personal evaluators will evaluate the two amazing speeches that we had today and then we will hear some feedback from our timer grammarian out counter and all of the people who helped us today to conduct this meeting and i think we are ready and i'm passing the stage to the general evaluator of our meeting today, Alexander Klaas. I'm feeling blue because my English is not very good, but I'm experienced those masters. I have something to say every <laughs> in every language. So first things first: show your colors, bring your colors to the floor. Who knows this quote? It's a quote from my favorite English band, Colors with You, English band. <laughs> so they're British. Prodigy. Ah! <laughs> and uh, it's not uh, related to music only, despite Prodigy is the uh, spectacular uh, group uh, ever, but it's also related to Toastmasters, because it's up to you how to uh, engage audience and its color going from you to the audience and uh, even uh, if you have a boring uh, role like uh, timer <laughs> you, can tell us, Shots fired. you can tell us a story and you can enhance your delivery by some some uh, adding some colors your color is red today yes as uh, madam toastmaster uh, said so uh, <laughs> Uh, my evaluation consists from two parts or three parts. Uh, first uh, things first, I will give stage to personal evaluators, then secondly for minor roles, uh, then maybe I have prepared some uh, notes. You have 25 minutes total. <laughs> 25 minutes, we are running out of time, maybe I will be short. 
And then to quiz master I will give the stage. So let's start from personal evaluator and I would like to invite on the stage Ekaterina Dimova. Hello guys, how many jokes did you get from Irina's speech? Too many. Too many? <laughs> Too many. <laughs> Too many. <laughs> okay. How many? How many? I caught a little three maybe jokes and I suppose your project completed and I accept this. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. So, dear fellow Toastmasters, guests and my members, my love club members, we um, have heard a wonderful speech, Irina's speech. And uh, I noticed what I would like to say what was good. You feel yourself on the stage very relaxed, in my opinion, in comparison with previous speeches. It was quite relaxed, you were um, moving around, maybe more movements than enough, but still it was quite good. Also, I like really like your inspirational stuff, inspirational stories. And it was about your daughter, about broken car, about what else it was, ah, about reading the first hour in the morning, magical hour, right? I know it's great, it works, really. Also, I love your connection with the audience. Again, you were I think all the audience was uh, under your charming mm -hmm. eyes or whatever, mm -hmm. so it was great. However, we are all here plus masters, we are constantly learning, that is why I would like to say that you can make to a con. Uh, this is about structure. To be honest, I didn't get the main thought. Usually when you tell our us a story, it usually should be the one something late motif, I don't know how in English, probably late motif, and uh, your story should support this sort. And for me it was kind of a little bit messy, three stories and what is the main sort? Well, and also it was a lot of unintentional, again, gestures you asked me to notice, and I did. And what I think would be better next time, try to challenge yourself and try to make your story really humorous rather than inspirational. I was inspired, really, your, your stories about, yeah, right yeah. guys, yeah, and it, it was inspirational um, speech, inspirational stories, and it was about the first hour in the morning, in my opinion, more than about some humorous. So, great connections with the audience, meaningful, inspirational, personal stories, and great usage of uh, stage. However, next time try to improve your structure, improve unintentional gestures, and try to make somehow your uh, inspirational sp speech into humorous speech. Well done, completed, the project mm -hmm. completed. I enjoyed, really enjoyed, and looking forward for your next speech. Your encouraging and pertinent, if I can say in English, evaluation, like always. And dear Irina, I was missing you on the humorous speech contest. Yes, <laughs> yes, we all were. Now we are moving to second personal evaluator, Anna Rubinina. Mm -hmm. Anna Rubinina, do you hear? And see Can you hear Anna. me? Yes, very well. Okay. So, I give the stage to Anna Rubin, a virtual stage, to evaluate Miles Flake. Dear Busters, dear Masters, dear Miles. Uh, 
It's always a pleasure to listen to your speeches because I find them really philosophical. It's not always easy to follow your thoughts, but you always try to convey the very important message. At least in this speech, I heard uh, the idea that is very close to mine, to make the bridge between the people, between the countries, between the continents, between the... Mm. between every living creature in the world. And these days, it's so important because everyone strives for peace and the connection between people is the most important thing. So in I got this idea. I think your, the ending was especially strong in your speech. So you managed to convey this idea and I, oh green light oh my god sorry so that's the main thing this deep uh that i like the main message the main idea of your speech that was really great so the purpose of your speech was to use the descriptive language some literary language and i think you also mm, excelled at this especially at the end when you um compared this connection between our countries as um, um, as a as a bridge, yes, and he also used some words as aviate, navigate. I think they were very descriptive. Um, there was some I did. Okay, so your language was great. And you used metaphors and some complex language. Uh, what you would, what would be, have made better, probably the structure of your speech, because there were several ideas, several, quite several quotes. And um, so next time, it would be better to have some one. So it wasn't always clear. No, it was clear, though it was a mixture of different ideas. And these ethical spaces, I think it was a little bit, probably you didn't explain it well, but it was really uh, <laughs> difficult to get this concept. Yes, but still, I think, so it was philosophical. I think. <laughs> okay, and so to sum up, yes, great contact, great message, and next time, ah, okay, also, I don't think you needed this um, presentation, yes, probably, so, and I really like how you use props, yes, as the globe, the flag, you are very good at it. So we all know that you like to illustrate your speech with the real things. But the presentation, you will work on it at your next project. Yeah? <laughs> Thank you. General Evaluator. Mr. General Evaluator to the stage, please. Thank you very much, dear Anna, for a detailed evaluation. And sorry for early bird uh, Vasilisa who showed you uh, green very early. So next time please pay attention because it might disturb personal evaluator. So I'm a general evaluator, I can't do this, this notice of this. Okay, so the motley crew of minor rollers, if we, we can say like this, is ready to give their reports. <laughs> and we will start from a counter. Zaur Sulimanov. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> uh, fortunately, I couldn't count my pillars. But I have counted yours. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, my uh, program 
didn't let me down. Oh, good God. Yeah, <laughs> and therefore, I have a list of well. your pillars. Samira. Uh, <laughs> two, two times oh, uh, uh, one time um, one time oh, uh, Irina. Uh-huh. Uh, one time uh, oh, uh, one time um, Miles. Four times uh, um, five times oh, and one time er, Nikolai, uh, one time O, one time er, and one time M, um. Jude, am I right? Yeah, Jude. Uh, okay, two times and three times M, um. uh, Yuri. Oh, I'm scared. Uh, one time um, two times O, oh, Alexander, uh, one time O, oh, two times um, and two times so. <laughs> okay, Yekaterina, two times um, Anna, two times um, two times O. Oh, uh, one time er, four times yes, mm. and one time so, and Daniel, one time oh. And two times actually. <laughs> Very detailed. Very detailed. I know. Mm -hmm. Feel our pronunciation now. I'm looking for. Dear fellow Toastmasters, Mr. General Evaluator, unfortunately or fortunately, my drawback list is empty. It could mean two things. Either I was too attentive to listen to your stories, or you did so good, you didn't make any mistakes. I like to stick with the second. <laughs> Talking about feedback, uh, we had a quote here. Do you remember who was who gave us a quote? Everyone. Miles, of course. It all begins with a conversation, and we also had some short, nice sayings like deliberately attention, thinking patterns, long-term exposure, feel blue. You can literally see red, and who said that? Right. Tanara, correct. <laughs> and uh, ha has anybody heard any usage of the word of the day? Sometimes. I did. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. You are guys, you guys attentive, Danara. This is your wow. pride. Oh! And those of you who hasn't had a chance to win, be active participants in a quiz session. So I'm advertising Samira here. I'm done with my report. Thank you very much for this honest report. I am very proud to be without mistakes in your club, English speaking. So, the least, but the last, but not the least. The least and the last. Vasilisa! <laughs> so, the color of the meeting is red. It's motley! Uh -huh. It's motley! No, it's red because there were too many people who had to show the red card for a prolonged time. Not always because of my fault. Uh, first, uh, Daniel, because of the thought of the day, maybe there was a mistake in the agenda, but you were 35 seconds longer, Hira was 20 seconds longer, Miles was 2 minutes 30 seconds longer. But you couldn't see the timer. Okay, <laughs> you should feel it. <laughs> you should feel it. <laughs> the color. Um, our two general relators were both over time. Anya was because of my fault. I was already punished by the general relator. Katya was surprised by the time, but I checked it two times. It was correct. 
Uh, and our two <coughs> table topic speakers, Jude and Yuri, were, didn't even see the green card because you had still time, 10 seconds till one minute. With no further ado, Chico, <laughs> I invite you on stage because. Two minutes, yes? You are in time. You have, you have five. Five? Yeah. It's too much. It's, it's four and a half now. Go. My vocabulary <laughs> doesn't let me speak for five minutes. Uh, I will be brief. Five, it is ten. In brief, uh, I'm very proud to be here. And as always, uh, I was warmly welcomed by President and uh, uh, all the team of uh, officers, uh, like usually in Toastbusters Club. And the all newcomers, I also mentioned, was uh, warmly greeted by the president. And it's uh, very uh, good. <laughs> so, uh, what to add? Ah, I'm missing one thing. I do not have agenda before the meeting. But, uh, uh, for example, for me, it's uh, very important because uh, I prepare my evaluation in advance because my English is not very good. And I know you guys and I have some maybe question for everybody and it would help me next time to prepare if I have uh, if uh, you you removed me from your chat okay. <laughs> 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 so next time please uh, share it yes. in your Toastbusters lovers mm -hmm. chat but uh, meeting started uh, great uh, like usually because Valeria shared with us like her energy and uh, joy and everybody was uh, every atmosphere around Valeria shined brightly colorful, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, Danara uh, spectacular spectacular uh, and started from interaction with audience and it's very interesting this psycho hack for me I will practice this because it uh, may be um, open some new skills in my head to uh, see some color and uh, then another color to be careful with it. But I will be careful with this. And uh, this interaction with the audience was amazing. Uh, every color we consider red for Vasilisa, uh, yellow for um, for thought of the day, uh, no, green for thought of the day, and uh, every minor role was considered by some color and some history, some examples, some uh, a lot of examples of uh, re uh, really uh, we know a lot at the moment after your animation about uh, the colors, but it ended after introductory session. I would like to challenge you maybe to distribute uh, the topic uh, all the meeting uh, all the way long. Maybe uh, some uh, part before table topic session, some part before evaluation. We can also think how to, you can also think how to distribute it well, but I'm sure you will do it next time. Because uh, it's the uh, sec second time I'm in Toastbusters, we have some presentation, brilliant presentation by, uh, when I'm a general evaluator, I see brilliant presentation by uh, Topic Master and then you only introduce, because we are out of time and so on. So, a great uh, topic, but please uh, think about distribution. Uh, about table topics, Nikolai. Uh, Nikolai doesn't have to uh, dedicate a table topic session to colorful uh, color psychology, and he, he did so. But uh, he explained. But he uh, he explained in, in the beginning the rules, uh, uh, the time limits, and he also. Uh, invited to the stage newcomers. It was done great. Uh, maybe I would like to suggest you, you might have declined uh, Danara to go to the stage because he spoke a lot uh, from the beginning and maybe for, uh, give stage to some uh, newcomer as well. But uh, generally, uh, table topic session was done great despite the had. Uh, 
limit of time. And what else? All the speeches was great, like usually, uh, and uh, uh, personal evaluations uh, was made professionally. Mm -hmm. So I am happy to be here, and uh, I won't waste your time because we have some sweets from Samira, and she will enter the st <laughs> to the stage with quiz master session. guys again. I'm ready with uh, my questions. And, uh, the first one is what are the emotional associations for this red color? Agitation. Uh, okay. What else? Stimulating. Um, energy. Stimulating. Energizing. Yes. Angry. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> Stimulating. Agitating. I know, but uh, I have my adjective, like provoking appetite, captivating, and oh. aggressive. But, uh, no one gets a swing. Okay, next question. <laughs> uh, okay, you can give uh, candy for the first speaker. Who is the first one? Uh, yeah. Katya? Or I don't remember. We'll, we'll who, share. Who can catch? Who, who can catch? Go on, go on. <laughs> What color is English grammar associated with the Chocolate. 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 Okay, yes, your uh, Vasilisa was the first one. <laughs> uh, oh. Can you name some brands that use green color in their logo? Starbucks! Yes. yes. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, what is the first one? And some beer. <laughs> and some beer, yeah. <laughs> okay. And, um, uh, what are some frequent associations with orange color? Optimism. Yes, Energy. what else? Energy. Okay, you can Energy uh, two uh, or one? Two, two can be to Zola and... Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> and... Uh, okay. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Very nice! Uh, where did Irina spend her solo retreat? <laughs> In her car. car. Yes, yes, in broken car. What time did Irina decide to wake up? Six a.m. Yes. And uh, how many books and how many articles did Irina manage to read? When she started waking up early, 500 she did pages and 25 articles. Five articles. Uh, no, I, I didn't ask about pages. I asked how many books and how many articles. I think you said five articles. Five articles, yes. Yeah. And how many books? 25. Uh, <laughs> oh, 50. Yes, that's it. 25 liters of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> It's sweet for you. So, Mercedes, uh, Mercedes uh, yes, uh, said how many articles. No, Jude said how many, I was just louder. Jude or Mercedes? Jude! Jude! Jude. Okay, so you can. I will remember that. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> nice book. <laughs> and uh, what university Irina's daughter was at? Uh, Moscow State University. Just throw it. Just throw it. Just <laughs> 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 for you, <laughs> for you. <laughs> okay. and, um, who is the author of the quote? It all begins with conversation. Ronald. Miles. Nader. Nader. <laughs> no, it was not Miles. Nader. Nader. Ronald. 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 Yes, Irina. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> who should uh, you write in case you have some concerns? The problems. Problems. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And what was the what was the take home message of Miles' speech? Start a message. 
Anna mentioned bridge. It, it, it it connect, connection, connection between people, communities. Making, yeah, countries. yeah, making bridges. So <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, you can give to Irina and Katya. <laughs> It's too much. That's right, we don't have no more time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, kind, uh, what kind of gift Valeria mentioned in her speech? Gift of notes. And what does Danara encourage us to do? Colors? Oh, from table topics. Yes. Uh, ah, yeah, with, delegate more to people, uh, trust people. Trust, yes, trust people. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Samit, last question. Please. Okay, but how many years ago Danara was the first year? First year. Six. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you very much, Samira. Uh, who should I invite to the stage? President. 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 Maybe topic master has something to say. No. no. President. You don't? You don't? <laughs> uh, you don't? <laughs> you don't? <laughs> to Toastbusters you get free sweets and maybe a side of diabetes but hopefully not. Yes. We don't get that. Now I'm sure you all remember that we voted for the best table topics speaker. Yes. attention this evening for your participation your table topics your applause and the next meeting will be on the 23rd of October it will be here in Zeal you can of course always join us online I'm pointing at the camera don't look around <laughs> we can always join online and is there anything I'm forgetting after party. Oh, of course well, one first important information, we have area contests coming up. They will be on Saturday, the 26th of October, where clubs, yes, yes, where all clubs in Moscow, is St. Petersburg included? Yeah, so, well, all clubs in Moscow and St. Petersburg will compete in table topics and humorous speeches. It's going to be very exciting. We will post information in our Telegram channel, which is this QR code. If you have not joined, you can join. The information will be there. And we have another tradition, many traditions here at Toys Busters. After every meeting, we go for social outing, I would like to call it today. A social outing where we go to a restaurant, a bar, a cafe after the meeting, and we just relax. So everyone is welcome. Thank you, everyone, once again, and please come to the stage for a group photo. And online audience, we will take a group photo, so I will tell you once we find the camera person, so you can smile. Now we will find some. Okay, everyone get on stage, get on stage. Да, да, да. Все, еще раз на три секунды.